Aloha y'all, Daniel Aaron here, your guide to vibrant living. Do you know what this is? <sighs> Amazingness, yes. And it's a frangipani flower, right? Um, it's got other names <laughs> when they're, I'm blanking on them right now. What it's not is complaint. What is complaint? Complaint is the vocalization of pain or a energetic that says something's wrong or bad. As some of you all know, I am in the complaint free challenge for the third time. And when I say the complaint free challenge, yes, I'm referring to specifically what uh, Edwin Gaines wrote about in her book on spiritual prosperity which uh, my friend Will Bowen picked up on and uh, really packaged together in a beautiful way. The book is called The Complaint Free Challenge. I highly recommend it. You can see him on YouTube, great stuff. There's a specific protocol for it that makes it really effective and powerful. And I'll tell you this, it ain't easy. For me, it ain't easy if we're really doing it as a practice. And why would you do that as a practice? Honestly, as I have done this twice before, two complete times, first time took me eight, eight months, I had people say, no, complaining is good. Well, we'll get to later the difference between complaining and processing, right? Because what it's not also is bottling it all up and pushing it down, right? It's also not painting pink on rust, pretending that there aren't issues or challenges in life. What it is though, is being solution oriented and the first big power to the complaint free challenge is the awareness of it now i started back into this round maybe a month ago something like that I, you know it's like um some of you all know from other videos i've shared i'm going for some challenges i'm saying you know what i feel a little bit stuck in my life i want to go to the next level so let's challenge myself with some things that will help me to grow right that's really the, the best reason for challenge. And because if you're not growing, what are you doing, right? If we're not growing, we are dying, going down. So when I started into the complaint free challenge this third round, it kept happening a few days in, I was like, God, did I complain yesterday? I don't, I don't remember a complaint. And then I realized, dude, if you don't remember, if you're not aware, then you're not doing it, right? You must be aware if you're doing it. And that's the real key thing is to tune in our awareness, our presence to say, wait a minute, watch what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, right? Gossip, criticism, complaint, sarcasm. These are all forms of complaint. And the first phase of this process for all of us is well, I, don't know, I can't say for all of us, for everybody that I've ever met and for me now three times and it's hard. It's hard because the complaint habit is really easy to take on. It's socially accepted. It's common, right? It's not helpful. It's definitely harmful, yet it's easy to do and it's common. So the first phase of this is the, the awareness that, oh man, once again, I've gotten addicted to complaining. I've gotten so used to it, I'm the fish in the fishbowl complaining. So phase one is hyper awareness of the complaints. It's often challenging because like, oh, I did it again, darn, back to day one. Take my bracelet and switch it over to the other side. I am literally on day one right now because I complained yesterday. What did I complain about? I complained about a friend, wasn't liking something that happened in interaction, to my daughter. That was a complaint. Back to day one. Frustrating? No. Grateful. I am grateful because I realize it because now I have the power, the awareness to make a difference. We got more to say on the complaint free challenge. Again, I encourage you to dive in, learn more about it. I'll give an instructional video on it very soon as well. If you want the short version, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being committed to vibrancy. Aloha.